Thank you for joining us for this second video in our two-part video series on expanding and fixturing on the BuildPro modular welding table. We're going to show you how the BuildPro table, clamps, and modular fixturing components can help you grow your business by allowing you to build a wide variety of fixtures rapidly and efficiently, giving you the flexibility to take on a wider range of projects. In the first video, we expanded the 6.5 foot Bill Pro table to accommodate our 7 foot long cabinet frame. In this video, we're going to fixture our 7 foot cabinet frame using the new 128 piece Bill Pro standard framing kit. To set up our fixture, we're going to start with the economy clamping squares. We're going to use the economy clamping squares to set up an accurate right angle for locating our 2 inch bottom tubing. The economy clamping squares have one base with a slotted surface for adjusting the mounting location and a second base with CNC machined 5 8 holes for mounting in the fixed location. Because we want to use these first economy clamping squares in a fixed accurate location, we're going to mount the square using the 5 8 hole. We're going to use the Bill Pro tabletop holes as our guide in setting up the economy clamping squares. The tabletop holes are set in a precise 2 inch grid pattern, so we're going to come in two rows from the table edge to place our first clamping square. Now that we've positioned our bottom tubing, we're going to clamp the tubes with inserter clamps. True to its name, you just insert the inserter clamps into the 5 8 holes on the tabletop, slide the clamp arm down, and tighten. The inserter clamps are an indispensable tool that works very well with the Build Pro table. On the other side of our frame, we've mounted the economy clamping squares using the slotted base so we can adjust as required to set the width of our frame. Here at the end of our frame, we'll use this top surface of the economy clamping squares to mount our inserter clamps and provide downward clamping pressure. We'll just slip our inserter clamps right into the 5 8 holes on the clamping squares, then clamp down and tighten. To locate the inside spines of our frame, we're using 3 inch right angle brackets and adjustable ball lock bolts. The right angle brackets are ideal as a low profile locating element. We'll use the slot instead of the mounting hole so we can adjust the bracket position. Since we're working here towards the center of the table, we'll use ball lock bolts to clamp these brackets. We just drop the bolts in place and as we tighten them down, three locking steel balls in the shaft will move outward and engage underneath the plate and give us a good solid hold, which is a real time saver because we don't have to reach underneath the table to tighten the bolt. In hard to reach areas like this, the ball lock bolts are a fast and very handy method of locating and fastening clamps and components to the table. With these spine tubes located, We'll clamp them down using the table mount C-clamps. These C-clamps fit right into the 5 8 holes on the tabletop, so we just insert, lock down, and tighten. We'll use the crank handle to easily adjust the torque. We've preset all of the table mount C-clamps for this assembly, so we'll be able to clamp down these spine tubes very quickly. One of our support tubes needed to be positioned directly over the 1.7 inch slots in the table. So we used the channel block and rest button from the framing kit. Use the channel block and rest button whenever a flat, continuous support surface is required directly over the table slots. Just place the three hole channel block beneath the Bill Pro plates and mount with the socket head shoulder screws. Then place the rest button in the center hole of the channel block to provide a rigid work surface that's perfectly level with the tabletop.
to position and clamp these support gussets, we're using the new gusset magnet from our Strong Hand Tools product line. This low profile gusset magnet has four disc magnets set in the magnet face to hold against our frame and three non-magnetic positioning pins to help us quickly align and position the gusset magnet. The three adjustable magnetic hex bolts will hold directly onto the surface area of our gusset panel. We've preset the bolts at the correct depth to hold our panels in a precise location for tack welding. To hold these end caps in place, we'll use the corner magnets from the Strong Hand Tools product line. All of these Build Pro clamps are easy to preset and fast to lock and unlock. After the frame is welded, we can very quickly flip open and move the inserter clamps and the table mount C clamps out of the way to remove our welded frame. Every time we talk to welders, we hear again and again how reducing setup time is really crucial to their profits and to their ability to serve their customer and keep their customers. The Build Pro table can help you reduce job lead time so you can provide your customers with faster service and at the same time protect and increase your profit margins by taking on more jobs and more diverse jobs. For more information on the Build Pro modular welding table, call our customer service department at 800-989-5244 or visit us online at stronghandtools.com.